morning. Off out on another weekend again. Um, but this morning we've got a couple of free spaces next to us, so we're going to do some bit of mooring practice. While the winds are light and while it's nice, and we'll just have a play around in the marina for a little bit. It's important to remember to keep a firm grip of the wheels, especially when you're hard in reverse or use a lot of throttle forward as you don't want the wheels to slam to the side like I just did. So as I was coming in here, I just clipped our little rope holder. Um, it's an attachment that attaches to the boom there to keep the rope out of the water. Uh, so we needed to go and reverse in there again anyway, just to go and pick that up and uh, put it somewhere safe. So this was by far the best practice docking maneuver we had. Um, we found that this worked a lot better because the prop walk was to starboard and I can use the prop walk to my advantage to bring the background a little bit faster there. Yeah, because there's not enough room to get enough speed and then to turn. Usually I would go further up and then do the turn once I've got speed on, but there's not enough room there. No, but what you did before is that you come in here and then you want to turn. We learnt a little bit there, I know, I know we should have changed the angles a little bit to come in a little uh, a little tighter, so yeah, it's good, it's good, we're getting there. It's just going to be a little harder with high winds, you know, you need to be very confident and very, um, and a little bit fast in reverse as well, so you've got some control there, but I mean, the bow thruster is very good, that's for sure. Time to get some sails out. Got in from Chicago this morning and came and picked me up from the airport, which is nice. And then it, yeah, arrived at uh, more or less eight o'clock, and by half past ten we're out sailing. So a little bit jet lagged, a little bit um, tired, but that's okay. We have a nice relaxing weekend on the boat. Don't know where we're going to go. We'll probably end up at Sec again because <laughs> we don't go anywhere else. We just go to the same place every week. How's it going, honey? Good. You enjoying yourself? Yeah, just relaxing. <laughs> so a lot of people would have been off yesterday, so they're all out there. Sick is probably jam packed when we come. I'm actually really impressed with this in mass furlough so far. We went for the uh, medium sails actually. I can't remember what they're called. They're not tri laminate maybe or something. Not fully laminate or. I'll have to research that actually, I really can't remember now. With the vertical battens now, with an in-mass furler, it looks pretty awesome actually. I haven't had problems getting a good sail shape and getting moving pretty quick through the water. It looks really nice. I've just slackened it off a little bit now on the uh, outhaul because it's light winds, so we got a better, better shape. It's flapping a little bit up the top, I might have to adjust it in a minute. But 
perfect. Stockholm's just over there, just down that channel. Not sure why people are sailing in that direction, to be honest with you, but the beauty's out this way, where we're going. Very calm. Enjoying the sunbathing. She might be sleeping. She's not sleeping. And easily six and a half knots now. Really good sailing. Peeled over a little bit, maybe 20 degrees or something. This is awesome. Beautiful day, it's probably like 23, 24 degrees. Wind's perfect now, not too strong. Not too little out here either. So we're making good progress. Almost there now. I think we left at what, 10 o'clock and now it's 3 o'clock, so almost back at sec again. Uh, home from home. <laughs> Sat here now in sec again. It uh, reminds me of when I was a kid when I was playing around on dinghies and stuff. Mm -hmm. But this is what summer's about in Sweden, you know? The natural harbors. It's pretty busy in here now, but. Oh, this is nothing. 18, 19. I can only count 19 masts. And we've been in here where I counted over 40. <laughs> so, it's not that busy yet. <laughs> no. No. Summer is still a little bit early. Now we've got a anchor beer. Danish. Anchor beer. <laughs> Danish, organic. Yeah. This is the beauty I love about the Stockholm archipelago. It's so calm and relaxed. Even though there's a lot of boats here, it's still really nice to just come out on a weekend and just just have a great time and relax and just forget about everything look at that beautiful view just on a little barbecue again as normal every time we've come into these harbors we've had help from other people actually on the rocks so um haven't yet got to the point where Tanya's had to jump off on her own and put the ropes around herself. Uh, but we'll get to that, I guess, sometime. <laughs> Good morning from SEC. We are, well, we've just had breakfast, which was really nice. Got some eggs out and some other stuff. Um, but, as you can probably see around me, we are the late risers. Everyone has left before us, 
I think they wanted to avoid the high winds maybe or just get back in early, I'm not sure. But it gives me plenty of opportunity actually to get the drone out, which is really nice. Because it doesn't bother the shit out of everyone. One time when we were here actually, I took the drone out and immediately someone sent their child around to tell us off about the drone, you know, so... Yeah, sometimes that happens. Look at this, it's actually beautifully clear for this time of year. Well, at the start of the season it's actually clearer because the algae hasn't grown yet in the water. But it looks super nice. The water temperature at the moment is about 17 degrees. Still a little on the chilly side, but it's okay I guess. Same as UK water temperature, more or less, on the south coast. <laughs> You can see this actually when I let the van go. You see the angle of the boom there? You just gotta be aware of that with this this type of in-mass furling. The the van actually pushes the boom up really high. So I've got to lower that before I take the sail out obviously. The wind is more or less uh, southerly or south south easterly I think, or westerly, sorry, south south westerly. So uh, Hopefully we can get good sailing in. It's not too going to be too close on the nose to head back to Stockholm. We haven't even got off the boat and you're cleaning again. Yes. Stop cleaning. <laughs> yeah, but then we don't have to spend so long time when we come in. Well, we were alone in this bay, which is extreme an extreme rarity for like 15, 20 minutes or something like that. <laughs> like usually there's always other people around, you know, and then then a boat turns up but that's okay we're going in like 20 minutes anyway or something like that it takes us about six hours to get back into Stockholm or five hours depending on the wind it might be quite close on the nose today so we'll see how we go just got to wait for Tanya to stop cleaning stuff as well it's, could take a couple of hours hey 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 I done the dishes I packed everything yes you did and I cling. Yeah, she's. I, I. And you flew the drone. I have an extremely good wife. I fly drone. She cleans and <laughs> stuff. Come on and show me the dead snake. I'm terrible. I am a bad husband. Going on a big adventure now to find, snack the snake or snow the slow the worm. I don't know. <laughs> slow the worm. Slow the worm. I've never heard about slow worm. It's just over here, honey. Poor guy. Yeah, it's a slow worm, I think. I think it's a snow. A what? Snow. What is a snow? Um, what do you call them? Adder. Is it? Adder. Is it, is it called an adder in English? Might be a baby one, but I think it's a slow one. I don't. I don't like snakes the best of times, to be honest. Even when they're dead, so I'm not gonna touch him. But looks like he's been bitten by something else. Ready to go? Yes. Okay. Remember, you need to take the downwind line off first. I know. She knows know. she's becoming an extremely good crew. <laughs> it's not about getting drunk only. It's the only group with a very keen sense of how very, very short life is. my foot on the table to sit.
just as an example of how the Stockholm archipelago really hammers you with these islands. Look, one second we're flat. Just as we, as we come around the corner, wow, it's going to go again in a second. a minute ago a really good sailing weather ah. especially when Tony gets wet <laughs> yeah we noticed a lot of other boats aren't sailing I think they're just a bit terrified of the winds to be honest I can't really say I blame them either it's it can be a bit intimidating in like 25 knots of wind sometimes. <coughs> we had a problem a minute ago that we had too much sail on the jib out and it was really hard to get back in because the outfurler was wrapped around the cleat down there. Now let's just wind that back a second there. You can see that we've got that rope wrapped around the cleat. Before we were using the winch we had that rope directly wrapped around that cleat with a little bit of jib furled in. Now, most of you might know this, but this is a really bad idea because basically to release the tension or to get that rope to furl any more of the jib in, you have to let the tension off the cleat or unwrap it off the cleat and then let the jib out to get it on a winch and then to take the jib in again. And this, this is really what you might not want, especially in a windy situation. So we've found it's better just to lock it off on the front winch that we've got there and leave it be there so if we need to wind it in quickly it's there ready to go and we can just take the jib further in and we had to put it on the winch so it's a bit difficult but we had just hid behind an island and then did it there where the wind was a bit less we could have turned into wind but then the sail starts flapping all over the place so we didn't do that but we're having a really cracking sail now back to stockholm really fun Check that out, that is one hell of a boat. gusting around 25 knots or something all of a sudden randomly so you end up heeled over at like 75 degrees or something yeah, it's a good sail but it's just gusting a lot like now again up to 22 knots there we go yeah. another 25 knot gust this in more of a diagonal into the corner and then went back so hopefully this is going to work this time there's barely any wind in here now actually all the buildings are sheltering up 
So as you can probably see, the wind is coming from behind the boat and is pushing the boat forward. And I kind of didn't take this into account, so I brought it in as I usually do and then just stopped it at the uh, entrance to the uh, mooring there. But of course the wind starts pushing the boat forward and I'm just completely reliant on the fenders there to, um, to keep the boat in the berth. I mean, I could sort it out, but just a little more practice we need to do and uh, since filming this video I've got a lot more confident with the reversing and I know more of what the boat is going to do in the wind now so it's it's getting better but uh, you learn something new every day <laughs> this really doesn't sound good what I'm doing to the boat there uh, but I, I can assure you those screeching sounds are just three or four fenders rolling on the side of the uh, boom there and not massive gouges into the side of the hull Another good weekend in the Stockholm Archipelago. Thanks very much for watching and yeah, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.